Let's go through a mail merge. First you'll want a new screen in Microsoft Word. So go ahead and Control N, get a new screen, or maybe you just started your program and it's new. The first thing that I do is I click on the Mailings tab. And then under Start Mail Merge, probably the easiest is to go to Step by Step Mail Merge Wizard. And you'll see a task pane show up over here on the side. Go ahead and click on Labels, or if it's envelopes or whatever you want, or lab letters, I'm going to try Labels. Then click Next. And under Label Options, I'm going to choose the label style that I like or I have check the box of the mailing labels if they're Microsoft choose Microsoft mine are Avery and then find the number of the Avery labels that you are using then click OK then click next and after next you'll see there's a browse to find your Excel spreadsheet so locate your Excel spreadsheet mine is on the desktop and I'm just using this test one and I click OK. Choose the sheet where the names are if you have multiple sheets in your workbook. And I click OK. And OK. And now you'll see all these different records. These will indicate one of the labels if you chose a kind that has multiple per sheet. The next thing I do is insert merge field. I want my name. Then I could throw a return, or I'm just going to show you how to do that later. The street address. I need the city. I need the state and the zip code. Now I can click on preview results. When I click on preview results, look at everything's run together. I need to throw returns in here. So I'm going to click in front of here, hit the enter key. In front of Great Falls, hit the enter key. I want a comma and space after Great Falls. Montana, I want two spaces. Now I could do that in the preview form or I could do it in this. Also, if I need to change the font, I can highlight this and pull down or right click and change my font to a different style or a different character set. Okay. Once I'm done there, I click Update Labels and all the labels will fill in properly. And again, if I click on Pre Results, it will show. Now I only have two different ones in my spreadsheet. I'd have however many it would create that many pages. Notice that my capitalization is off. I would have to change that on my Excel spreadsheet because this is pulling from the spreadsheet. It doesn't do any good to change it here. Now all it's set. All you have to do is um, finish that mail merge and then print it out. Your mail should print perfectly. You could actually just go to print right from here. Hope that helps you.